on their shoulder for Tribe to come out absolutely swinging. They will be starting off on the unfavored side of the map, but don't count them out quite yet until you see the kill feed just erupting in blue. There it is, Wolves high ground control already fully enveloping the hard point. Bolu trying to force something in towards the fences. Peg shut down. Follow up from Neon. No problems there whatsoever. Jazz with the R9 has not found much of anything yet. And it's all Wolves early on the first hill. Top ground control also here for King. I love how quickly Tribe was able to recognize that. They needed to get upside in glass to be able to potentially contest P1, but most importantly set themselves up for P2. Spawns have flipped once again. Welcome to Summit Hardpoint. It's gonna happen probably two more times before P2 pops. Maybe it's mixing. King up top. Good look down towards Bolo. Easy eliminations coming through. But a 10 point gap at the moment as the remainder of time on B1 will look to go mostly the direction of our team in blue. Tribe, a little bit split on the map right now. Could they use this to potentially entrap Wolves from either side? Maybe not. Neon turning things away. And it's all Wolves largely in the kill feed. Vang, the only one able to attribute a kill towards the Tribe name. And as the second floor continues to be contested, it's all blue as Peg gets into the hard point. A very uncharacteristic here for Tech. Actually doesn't even have a single elimination to their name so far. On the other side, Neon is absolutely frying right now. Has 10 eliminations to their name. We got to see Tribe turn up just a little bit. You almost feel like that if one of these players gets further activated, this could snowball out of control. Really good. Tribe still trying to fight for spawn control. But every time they make a move for spawn control, they're losing out on so much significant time on the hill itself. Wolves all over the low ground, trying, trying to drop on in, but it's a little bit in pieces. And with that, the Prent Missile gets called in, making life just a little bit easier for Wolves. Jets from the back, putting away the shotgun in favor of the Switchblade, but it doesn't end up doing too much. Just getting one elimination and Peg for the triple. Able to shut things down from the front. Some scrap team to fight for, but look at the mini-map. It's all Wolves over towards the third hill. Hey, you couldn't have asked for a better P2 coming out from Wolves. I mean, they're still trying to contest all of that scrap time as well. Hunter Killer Drone also coming through. Isolated gunfight there on screen will end up going that favor of the Wolves. And Ever since the spawns have reflipped and Wolves got themselves back on the blue side of the map, they have been anything but relentless on yeah. striking for the hard point time and setting up for new. Wolves anchoring back. Hard point not open as of yet. We see Annihilators are in play for multiple members, and they're starting to get earned up. So who's got the shot? Gravity Vortex out for Marshy. Try it on the clean break. Also holding on to the hill. They're going to confirm that, yep, no one's behind us. It's all half the coming from the front. And how do you break with Annihilators from the front is the, now the new question. R9 drawing a silhouette on the tech in the corner. Finally coming back through though. Ah, Marshy Vague trying to hold on to the hard point. But it's Wolves in the front, getting in. King now with the Annihilator, looking to clean things up. Cannot get it to connect. And with that, Wolves down to just the basic weaponry. Oh. That may be enough. Neon with triple. Wolves from the front, good for at least a little bit of time. Gens for two as well. It's getting scrappy on the flank though. Immediately gets scouted out was Zai. That could have been the difference maker in between the spawn trap being in full effect and not. But Tribe have been able to break out from that little bit of a spawn trap affair. Going to be able to soak up the back 12 seconds or so, and this will keep the game legitimately yeah. even. There's so much space that has to be given up for Wolves ahead of this rotation, and that means that Tribe can freely, well, more or less freely get to the middle of the map. Great recovery here from Tribe. Number one in gold, Jets, try to break up the spawns in the back. He's snuck through. No one can seem to find him. He is low on HP, but he does get taken away. Just as the hard point opens up, Wolves should be able to use that as a chance to at least contest these back spawns. King free inside the hard point, soaking up time as Wolves regain their lead. Kills also coming their way, and now the Annihilator set over towards the snow path. Jez stays alive, lucky to be alive, mind you, with that. As all these shots are going to Sarai, the smoke is making this a big problem, but now comes Zai. Hit fire, not gonna connect, but the Gravity Vortex right behind it from Xing will allow Wolves to try to hold. Tribe still with the flip, able to get in from the back, and the break is good. Oh, Peg is actually gonna call themselves an Annihilator. They spawn all the way out, effectively on the west side of P1, and that's gonna be a given flank. Of course, we'll be traded out. Still more work to be done here inside of P4 before we go into a second set of rotations. The Wolves will have the close spawn. They're fighting the eliminations, and Tribe Man. are starting to concede it. This is a relentless Wolves team and 24 eliminations from Neon. An unbelievable start and a chance for Wolves to set themselves up for the first hill once again. Jez trying to play off the rogue route, denied. Fake in from the high ground, also shut down, and it's all Wolves as the hard point again opens up to their name. Yeah, but you see what Tribe are, are kind of dealing with again, you know, starting off on that side of the map, going in towards the second set, being down about 10, 20 points, it's not a terrible thing. You know it's going to get mixy. Marshy inside of the server room going to be able to find themselves too. This is a little bit of a distraction. The rest of Tribe need to try to get upstairs, but it's being gate kept by Zai. How many times have we said, can someone get Marshy some help? He's alive for what feels like an eternity, but Tribe can't get there to assist. 
And even though there's some good contested time out of Arshi, Wolves still finding a big cushion growing here on the scoreboard. 130 to 86. Marshy again getting in, but not a lot of support for him to stay alive. Tech starting to wake things up. 11 eliminations. But with it, not enough to take Wolves out of the hard point. This lead continues to grow. And Neon again with the shotgun inside of P1 has just been absolutely frying again. He's, has himself a streak. 28 eliminations down where you have Xing just at 9. He can just sit inside the hill. He doesn't even have to care about anything else in the world. 141 to 94. Wow. The rotation over towards P is already being looked at by Wolves. They have the high ground. They got the space provided. This shotgun is dirty, baby. Long range shots connecting for Neon with the KRM. But Tribe. Hold on to the rotation towards two. Catwalk, the next focus, and Marshy continues to absolutely fry. But who can follow up behind him? Jez trying to get involved. Annihilator up top. Neon only gets one. Jez for the shutdown. King on the long flank. Peg trying to assist, setting up a bit of a pinch. Tribe stuck inside the hard point for now. Kills go back and forth. The claws out, though, for Jez. Jez gets the double. Tech looking to follow up. And here comes Tribe right back in things. An Annihilator, a Vortex Cannon and a claw, all utilized for Tribe just to fight for the back 27 seconds, and they needed it. Only one more operator is in the back pocket there for Peg. Bolu also has one as well, but you don't want to use it right here and now. You can look at the minimap as well. Player number four in blue is actually all the way in the back. Bolu trying to fight for the scrap time. We'll find two, but we'll inevitably go down. We have to look at the rotation over towards new for Tribe to set up. King is being hunted. Baker on the back, shuts him down, spawns, likely good, but here comes a little bit of support from the front. Wolves trying to break in through the backside of Snow Pathway, and they have gotten another player deep. It's Peg, he's got an Annihilator, number two in blue. He's trying to work his way back in towards the hard point. Helps set up a bit of a pinch. Wolves not quite in control of the spawns at the moment, but they're still finding significant kills from Zai. Four kills for him. Stuns off the wall. Not able to shut him down. Off the trailer, though. How about this for Polo? A double. That will lock in for Tribe. Still spawning close. Marshy towards the interior. Help on the way. Jez right there to clean things up, and it's Tribe in the hill. Help, my name is Jez. The one to step up to help out Marshy. You also have another claw being called in by Bolu. That is a blender and a half. Once you get set up inside of P3, there's one player all the way in back behind here on screen is going to be Jing trying to set up for a little bit of a pinch affair, but we're down to scrap time. You have to be careful how much you are committing just for this back 18 seconds. Bit of a split going on. Jing falls away. Number four in Blue King, turning tail, heading over towards new as the fight continues for the scrap time. 171 to 150. Try lock it in every single second. And there's going to be a 1v1 possibly deep. On rotation, it's just one player from Wolves. And I believe they found him. Yeah, sure have. Tribe Capture now in control. Six seconds until the hard point opens. And they will have a full lockdown on these spawns as here comes a split hit from Wolves. Three up top, tuned down by the snow path. And Tribe, they're reading it all every single time. Tectonic even using the Hunter Killer drone. It is a three. Now four for one trade goes the feed. Tribe showing up when it matters most. Oh, they are ever showing up when it matters most. King looking for an entry. Scouts out tech. But watch out for all these constant respawners for Tribe. 37 seconds left in the hard point. Have to find a way to get on in. Nice shots from King. Now takes attention into the hard point. Gravity Vortex gone down and it gets absolutely vacuumed into it. Marshy from three once again, finessing the time. And it's not just doing that, finding convincing kill. Trying to get on in. No flip coming through. Tech with the shutdown. King trying to follow up, but no, turned away once again. And Tribe will hold on to their lead. First time Tribe has held a lead ever since P1, P2 in the first set of hard points, and it's still growing a full 60 on the horizon for Tribe Gaming here at P4. Not unless that isolated 1v1 has anything left to say about it, and of course, King Will at 33 kills, going back to P1 for another set of rotations. Shotguns are about to be out again. And Wolves have been so damn good at this hard point, soaking up. Rare time it feels like, but you feel Tribe starting to pick things up. The stride coming together. And how about Jez? One of the main reasons why is he picks up his 31st elimination. Him and Marshy together have done a lot of the work. Bolu just behind a 29. Operators, Alpha Wolves trying to break the counter from Jez. Claws spam down the front doors and the windows. Trades back and forth. Pitch Red goes to kill feet. Marshy once again holding his life for as long as humanly possible, but Wolves will secure the break. And towards the 200 point marker they go. 30 seconds, still the fight over here inside of P1, Jez needs to get activated. 33 kills for their name. Has high ground, but Zai immediately snuffs him out. You cannot ask for a better P1 three times over from the Wolves. Zai's on five. He's got potential to work for a print missile. How big could that possibly be if he can earn it? Tribe's still trying to fight for the scrap time, but contested in nature it goes. Zai 
One kill away from getting the bread missile. There it is! Annihilator also earned up. It's a double for Zion. Seven in a row. 205 to 214. Scrap time. Kind of a moot point. He may still hold on to that Annihilator. I don't know if he pulled it out fully. No, it's gone. So he's actually going to not get anything out of the Annihilator at all. Peg following up. The oh, gets the second. And a third! Wolves right on in towards the second hill. All right, missile also being called in there from Zai is going to keep everybody trapped. Hunter Killer drone as well. Every single resource being thrown out the window here, quite literally, for the wolves as they have themselves successful holds so far. The spacing not all provided. Another Predator missile comes in. Peg will find one Zai there for the cleanup. That was Bolu on the claw that gets shut down by the Pred missile. Wolves able to essentially turn this into a tie game. Vague, a little bit of help from his friends here. How about that? Vague, able to get Tribe right back into the hard point, but Jing off the flank. Gets one. The turn from Bolu not going to be there. And it's a full Wolves kill feed with still 22 seconds to fight for. And they're inside that hard point. You can't close it out here if you're either one of these two teams. You have to look at the rotation as well on the mini map, but this is still a big 15 seconds. Even sliding on in is going to be Zai. 4 2 in a row. Marshy, Jez, of course they are. They're going to be there for the cleanup for seven seconds, but you still look at the mini map. Wolves are fully set up for the rotation. They made the proactive call here. They're the first team to lock down over towards B3. But how about Vague? Gets a double with the Annihilator. Neon is kind of wondering, what can I do with the KRM? Teammate's still very fortunate to spawn around him, and his Vague is stunned. No, it's going to be Neon for the double. KRM looking to zone even further forward. The Gravity Vortex got his foot. All the way up to a second. Tribe spawning in the back. Wolves, do they get a read on this in time? Vague trying to break forward. Neon with the shotgun. Not quite able to get enough done. It's just down to Kid Wolves hold from the front door. 245 to 233. Tribe still spawning in the back, but you need to find a break. He has to find the kills. Polo, Jess, you got it. Absolutely insane scenes coming out from Wolves, especially through that second set of hard points where they were able to put on a blistering pace through that P1 to P2 rotation. Also being able to utilize their resources to such a high degree to get inside P3. It was really that P4, you would think, in that second set of rotations where Tribe Great. really started to come alive and why it was so close all the way through there. But you got to ask yourself, if Marshy got some help earlier on, we'd be looking at a much different game. Even Jez drops 42 eliminations for the L. But the other side of the screen looks that much better. Neon had himself a whale of a game. 48 and 33 KD ratio for them. The shotgun was absolutely popping off. Yeah, sure was. Not able to fully counter in the mix.